What's going on, y'all? Blue Falcon here coming to y'all with another video. So, this time around, you see the title is What is the Dilemma of Coming Out of the Matrix? All right, you guys. Now, before I even start, if you're comfortable in life, right, this video is not for you. Just go about your merry way, keep believing in fairy tales, keep believing in lies, be a sheep. You know, believe whatever the media tells you, because this video is not for you. All right, you gonna all I'm gonna be doing in this video is just ruining your day. But for those of you who know deep down within your gut, within your soul, that there's just something not completely right, like you know something's up, but you just can't quite grasp it, then please pay attention. All right, because not only I'm gonna teach you how to get out of the matrix but i'm also going to teach you what is the dilemma once you get out all right so there's a thing that's called the allegory of the cave all right now don't quote me but i believe it was either socrates or aristotle that came up with this allegory but essentially this is what it talks about all right so let's suppose that you know this is a mountain top okay this is a mountain top now upon this mountain there's a opening all right there's a there's a cave of some sort all right so i don't know if you guys can see that but that's the cave opening all right and just suppose this is the shadow i'm not going to go too deep about it all right so there's the mountain top and then there's the entrance of the cave all right now within this cave there's a wall right there's a wall and then there's a bunch of people all right that's on their knees all right? i don't know if you can see that there's just a bunch of people on their knees and these people they can't move their neck either to the left or the right they can only look at this wall all right, you guys, they can only look at this wall. Now, this is what's extremely scary about this, right? Because behind these people, mind you, granted, remember what I said, they cannot look to the left or the right. They can't look behind them. They can only look forward at the wall, right? So behind them, there are these people. And these people, let's say they're on an elevated surface, right? And there's a fire, so, th th this is the person, right? And let's call them the puppeteer masters, okay? And now you have, before them, there is a fire, all right? Now, they are holding out some type of contraption in front of the fire so that it's is they hanging about a bunch of you know dolls and you know these shapes you know you ever seen those people that do these these signals like in front of a fire right and if i do this that's like a, a sh you have a shadow of a bird or whatever the case you may you may have it right but that's essentially what they're doing mind you they're doing it behind the people's back right and because the fire is behind these people the, the the cave is extremely dark. You have this image in front of the fire, and it's gonna project the image on the wall. Am I making sense here? They're gonna project the image on the wall, and if suppose these people, that's all they saw their entire life. All they saw was this wall, and these shadows projected on the wall. All right, so you have these shadows projected on the wall. If that's all they saw, right, they're going to assume that that is real life. To them, that is real life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And this is what's extremely sad because such as some of us, you know, we're living in this cave. We don't see what's happening behind the scenes, right? This puppeteer master, we don't see what's happening behind the scenes. And all they're doing is projecting shadows but if we had seen that they were nothing but 
conjured up images of the puppeteer masters, we would know they were fake. But because we can't see behind us, we think the shadows is actually the real thing. Am I making sense here? So bear with me. One day, and this is where it all starts. This is when you get out of the matrix. You see, one day, let's suppose if one of these individuals of the three right on their knees let's say if one day one of them manages to get dragged out forcefully right so here, here's the individual and they're just being dragged out right let's say this guy is holding him and he's dragging him out right just dragging him forcefully out <laughs> Now, this is what gets interesting because notice what I said. That individual was dragged out. You see, a lot of times you're not going to ever leave this cave on your own. You see, everybody needs someone to pull them out, to drag them out. It's a very forceful thing. It's not comfortable at all. So that's a lot of times people are, they're going to, be kicking and screaming, fighting against you because here you are presenting them truth, but they don't want to hear it because all they just in love with the shadows because that's all they know. So this individual is being dragged out of the cave, and guess what ends up happening? They leave the cave for the first time. Now this is the individual. He's finally outside the cave. I want to ask you a question, you guys. Let's say that, you know, this is the first time this individual left this cave all his life. Now, mind you, it is a cave after all, right? Wouldn't a cave be fairly dark, right? A cave would be fairly dark, correct? So, your eyes got used to the darkness, of the cave and although there was a little flame remember it's behind them so it's not that bright so in comparison to the fire that's in the cave when you finally get out of the cave you see the Sun for the first time the true light for the very first time what you think is going to happen <laughs> right think about it aren't you gonna squint isn't it going to be a very painful process? I mean, after all, he's been in this cave. All he or she has been in this cave all their life. They got adjusted to the darkness of the cave. And now they're finally out and they see the real light. You're probably going to be tearing up inside. You know, not even outside. You're going to be tearing up, period. You're going to be tearing up. You're going to be crying. It's going to be painful. You're going to be scared. You don't know what the hell, where you are or what just happened to you. Again, it's a very painful process to finally get out of the cave, get out of the matrix. It's a very painful thing. Nobody wants to do it. But here's the thing. Once your eyes get used to it, get used to the, the true light, right? Once it gets used to the true light, all of a sudden, hey, what's this? I see clouds, right? <laughs> I see clouds for the first time. I see a big blue sky, right? You probably see trees, right? You see trees for the very first time. You're seeing all this luscious color, right? You're seeing all these luscious colors, and you're just like, whoa, is this what I've been missing all my life? You probably start seeing birds for the very first time, right? <laughs> is, this, is, has, is this what I've been missing all my life? Surely, after seeing all this color, you will be like, this is far superior than the darkness that I've been subjected to all my life within the cave. This is where the dilemma starts. This is where the dilemma starts. Because what about all the family members and friends and loved ones back in the cave? Huh? What happens to them? There's going to be a spirit inside of you that you are going to try your very damnest 
to go back inside that cave and help your brother, your sister, your friends, your loved ones. You're going to try to help them get out of the cave. Because surely you're thinking to yourself that, man, look at how beautiful. You see birds, you see the clouds, you see the sky, you see the sun, you see the trees. Surely they will love this, right? Surely my family members would love this. Surely they're going to be tired of the chains and the fake shadows that have been projected <laughs> to them all their lives. Surely they would love the truth. But here's the dilemma. They won't. They won't. You see, because when you try to drag them out of the cave, again, it's a very painful process, right? You have to get dragged out, and they're going to be fighting against you. And only those who have the ears to hear, only those, as I told you in the beginning of this video, something deep inside you, you know something was wrong. You just knew, uh, I don't know, yeah, I hear, I see these, these shadows. I see the shadows on the wall, but something is just not right. Only those individuals will have the ears to hear. And usually those individuals are considered crazy, lunatic, out of their mind, a fanatic. Uh, <laughs> you get, uh, you, are you getting to understand what I'm saying? All you're going to be viewed as is crazy. It's extremely sad, this dilemma. You know, trying to help people come out of the matrix, trying to help people get out of the cave. Because majority of people don't want to get out. Majority of people are just so satisfied with the lies that they've been fed all their lives. It, it's just a sad reality. You know, I've seen so many people lose their loved ones when they start embracing truth. You know what I'm saying? I've seen so many people lose their family members for this now you probably ask me what is the truth you know this is the truth what's written in that bible that's the truth and i'm not talking about and most of you are going to be oh well you know it was written by man and all this stuff exactly and continue to be a peon continue to be a peasant a slave because that's exactly what they teach you all these shadows right they teach you religion, but they never taught you what was actually inside that book. So then when people say certain things, then they throw labels to divert your attention so that you never get out of that cave. Anti-Semitism. <laughs> Are you getting it? Right? You know, how is it that a group of people that, you know, when you read that book, it talks about Egypt. It talks about Mesopotamia. It talks about all these regions in the Middle East. They talk about Africa. They talk about all these people <laughs> that clearly had, you know, skin that probably resembled mine, right? They said that even Christ himself had a woolly hair. I mean, I, I, woolly hair? What, what group of people had woolly hair? What's the only group of people that have woolly hair? You know, so you read all the stuff in the book, but then what they throw is images of Jesus being white. They throw images of <laughs> of Christmas, Easter, things that you don't even read in the book. And you keep believing in lies. You keep believing in shadows. But you're never going to actually get to the true light unless it's uncomfortable. Could you imagine? Think about it. And then some of you are probably feeling the prick within your heart already. Could you imagine? Because you already have <laughs> calculated what it would take to get out of this cave. Are you telling me I'm going to have to give up Christmas? Yes. <laughs> are you telling me I'm going to have to give up, you know, the, the, the fantasy of Jesus being white? Yes. <laughs> but, but again, they throw words like anti-Semitism. You see, you see, you guys, and you're probably thinking to yourself, like, hey, hey, bro, aren't, isn't this a gaming channel? Why don't you just stick to games? I've always told you, the biggest game that we're playing is this game called Life. 
on winning life. And I'm telling you right now, you're not going to be winning so long as you're being fed lies. You're always going to be stuck in the cave. You're always going to be stuck in the matrix. I hope I'm making sense to someone out there. If you find any value in this video, please like, subscribe, comment down below. Because it does help the channel out a lot. And also, I would like this message to reach as much people as much as possible. Share this with your friends and loved ones. You, know, you just share it with your friends and loved ones. And hopefully, they'll have the ears to hear. Hopefully, they have the eyes to see. And that you can help them get out of this cave as well. But the time is up. The jig is up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's about time we start waking up out of this slumber, out of this stupor, and start embracing the truth. Anyway, with that being said, you guys, Blue Falcon over and out. Game to win. Game hard.